Molweni Dingubongani, and thank you so much for coming to Alternatives to Small. So, um, before I get into this video, I just want to say that I've just basically decided that I'm going to stop overthinking content and I'm not going to allow any self limiting beliefs to stop me from basically uploading, filming things that I really want to do but might not be that good at. Um, case in point, today's video, I am going to be filming a makeup tutorial child. <laughs> Yeah. I thought let me just do like an honest practical actual beginner's guide or can you a beginner actually doing their makeup and in the end when doing my makeup is I brush my eyebrow um hairs up ne in my pepe gazette this is like your first step and I personally like starting with my brows because even if it's is a mistake then I can sort of cover it up later um, yeah and then I use a brown pencil a dark brown pencil because oh black I don't know it's a bit too hectic for me um so i prefer dark brown and i love the ones from you know cosmetic stores five brand stores um yeah and then i basically um lightly create a line like we natural um brow line yamne and um to do it on camera um i don't know let me the dedicated sorry and then i basically fill in ne? um and follow the direction of my natural hair I don't like going too dark because you are uh, uh, pure. Just gives me anxiety and things I put and then you know just look funny. This does take the most time. I'm very light handed with it because I really am not confident yet with my brows so I don't want anything too pronounced. Yeah. And then I use my um, brush thing. I think it's called a spoolie. I'm not sure. Just to brush out the product. Yeah, but be natural. Yeah. And then, sorry, I use a concealer. That's the concealer I use for LA Girl in the color Toffee. Then I use this flat brush that I bought from If I Front Shop. And then I basically do that. And then up again, guys. I think the point is just to shape your brow. So I will be, you know, you very light handed and covering up mistakes, sharpening the shape of the brow. So I just cover them up just to make it a cleaner brow. I normally do this in front of a mirror, so this is a little bit difficult, but you know. And Funuba, you can even guys talk since it's tutorials. If you get an makeup artist, say Zinzili brows off camera. And I mean, I understand that because it's quite difficult and you don't want to make mistakes, child, but I mean, you can't assume that we don't want to see that difficult process that's dribbling the nation. Yeah, more? 
then guys i use him um, earbud to take off the excess product and it's a step that so it's definitely something you shouldn't do but i do it because i find it very difficult to blend it by means into my skin guys this is wrong you shouldn't do this step at home but nah, it's easier for me because and i mean child anything to make the process easier but even now instead of blending the, the product into my skin i'm literally wiping it off <laughs> So that's the first brow done. I am a little bit nervous. That's why I am dropping things already. And then I do my right brow. And again, I sharpen my pencil because I find that when you sharpen your pencil, like your brow is a bit neater. And I don't know how to explain it. And again, lightly. I follow the natural shape of my brow. Brows are supposed to like look like sisters, you know. So let me just the kiss a font really, you know. It's like a bar, Cabandra and a bomb zone. Kiss a font just on top because I think it's a bit too thick. This is so hard, especially doing it on camera, like. To my shum. Also, makeup artists. And you know beauty influencers and stuff like but you use like a dark um, um, concealer on top or you don't use it at all for that more natural don't don't but I would so say love so with the brows currently satisfied concealer again you know for my under eyes like Google get all these different methods and reasons for why i know there's this new one go to you know it's too oh that's a bit too much go to it's too brighten the don and highlight the don don for me it's kind of to cover the dark circles that are naturally under my eye um if it happens to also brighten and make me youthful, then honey. If I want to love her, I'm going to Then I apply a little bit here. Um, <laughs> and then I apply some here. And uh, here. 
next is I apply foundation guys when it comes to foundation it is the most difficult part well at least for me because you know finding a foundation that like blends and that matches your skin tone is very difficult you, know, you need to go and find your perfect um, match and then you can even mix is indoor to accomplish that let me show you how much I have wasted on foundation this was recommended to me um, and it was just way too light like I did not like it and then this <laughs> I got this and it was like dark I think this is my true shade but because of la lighter undertone it just felt like darker so I use this to contour I don't know how to contour but I contour honey and then I found that these two are my faves. Um, U Candid in a 530, it's a Revlon, and U Clinique in the color WN114 Golden. This was recommended by a lady, Gua Edgars, and this I just tried out at Diskim. So I normally just. There's Goba Wit, because. Both of them don't match me like perfectly, and I find that under scuba it works out better. Um, with the application of the foundation, get I think there's a way to do it, but you know, I just apply and I focus on the areas where I have, you know, dark marks or a bit of spotting spots only you know even this feels like too much for me because i'm not used to like having makeup on i don't wear makeup every day so if this can be noticeable to me and especially because i'm got no blender got and stuff so less is more <laughs> and no love And you just carry it down your neck because you don't want like e ombre like then your neck is dark or can you lighter than your face? No, honey, they must match. Okay, and then you do that tedious process of blending blend until you can't take it no more <laughs> and then when it comes to a forehead I'm very scared of applying more product on my forehead because one is sometimes back cakey you know so I just use the product that's already on the sponge with forehead then a lot of with baby hairs you know not go in <sighs> blend 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 
as I said, blend until you can't take it no more. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my me. Oh, I in be lam. Hold on one second. <laughs> You see, it helps Kaufakai product because then um, if you've put on too much, you can just simply wipe it off as opposed to eating your apip sweeney and then you have too much product on your face. <laughs> no child. Mm -mm. I use this, what's this color? Mocha. It's a 360, it's darker. Um, and yes, Gelena Betuna. I have not really watched enough tutorials to literally know what I'm doing. Benzanji. Kya kondorisha. Kondorisha. Um, this is definitely not how you're supposed to be doing it. Ooh. But I just do it like this. I don't know me too. Okay, my sense is only the product. I know about zippy and chick bones, but you're supposed to be doing it along your cheekbone area. <laughs> Guys, please don't do this step. Need to leave on the swing day. I don't know why I do this step, but I think. Well, I'm not going to phone you phone that now. I'm back. Go to my house. I'm taking a bow, and then I put a picture and then I'm taking a bow. The condor is a guess on the app. Contouring. Yo. Guys. And if one knows the check up because this is literally not what you're supposed to be doing. But that's what I do. And one day I'm going to be perfect. For now. Child. Um, where else do you put this? Blend the kabam. Okay, I need a mirror. <laughs> and then, okay, <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay, <sighs> can you even tell in the volume of my voice that I am not? completely secure or confident in what i'm doing i'm a beginner child like mm. so don't come for me like if you know how to do your makeup good for you see a founder more more see a founder and then um what do i do next oh i'm gonna do my eyes but i think let's add some highlighter <laughs> it's highlight i'm talking about this is a contour stick but a contour stick I use it to highlight. So, I just did it again. I just did it again. Like, don't ask me why I put it here. And I know the ends are wrong, but. I'm going to Okay, let me stop whispering and be more confident, okay? <laughs> so, with the um, highlighter contour stick thing, I like to, you know, de I press it into my skin so that, well, I think it gives me that more natural glow, you know? Pin the seat, you just a little bit, and then let's do our um, um, eyeshadow. 
with the eyeshadow i use this huda beauty eyeshadow palette <laughs> i feel like i'm speaking like a you know makeup artist I use this Huda Beauty that I bought from FI Brand Store, guys. As you can see, this is my favorite one. It's good one. It's in a language, yeah, with a terminology. I've used it to the pen. It was in jail. These are my two favorite colors. These broke. This, I don't know, EP. But these two, yo, I believe in them. So I normally start with this darker one, you know. And then I dab it into my I don't the area in here I dab it here and a trick that I learned I don't know if I'm doing it correctly child um but is that we bamba it brush up so that your product then I do the same on this side I think this adds life and I use this color because it's neutral. I hate in the job, yeah, but at the same time, like you know. And I just use this um sponge. I don't know why I use this sponge in particular, but I also then um sort of blend it out as well. I don't know if this is a normal step. I don't know if I want who are actually good at this do this. <laughs> I just do it. For that more natural finish you know like a uh, where we want the color to pop but also also i've just learned like just take your time like Subasarashini, take your time i then use this what's it called essence um don't need mascara this game very cheap so the essence products are actually Super cheap and quite effective in the logo. So I use this. Okay, I've applied my mascara. Like that guy didn't depend on like your mascara, but now I like um, using even lashes and cause tan can as well as for panjani. But listen, we are here. Um, and then I'm going to apply fake eyelashes, right? But before I do that, I use e eye pencil this is essence eye pencil um and then i apply it where um i'm going to be putting the eyelash glue because i'm not yet confident in omega in false lash so sometimes a false lash like is literally sitting here and you can see that so i find that using a pencil helps me sort of I think I can be super cool, you know? This is the most difficult part. I am screaming, should I just skip the step? Because I am, hey, I am struggling. <laughs> I am definitely struggling. I can't believe how much I'm struggling. Oh, comment down below with some tips. Oh. But you know what? I am not gonna give up because Umama did not raise a quitter. No, she didn't. I will fix the mistakes. <laughs> I will fix. 
my mom did not raise a quitter, literally. Ah, young ya shona. And so shona si si apambi because. You know what guys honestly i'm being and being overly ambitious with this step because literally it's dribbling the living lights out of me like it is fighting like this step is fighting but you know you must always fight back <laughs> i'm encouraging myself live but you must always fight back i will imagine giving up without a fight if it doesn't work out i'm just gonna you know i'm just gonna remove oh i got the eyeliner if it doesn't work out i'm just gonna say so so it's fine but one thing about me i will not give up without a fight you imagine since a week on camera I need to watch more tutorials on how to do this part. But yeah, so this side I did not struggle as much as I did with the right hand side. Okay, the lashes are on. The lashes are on. They are not on perfectly. I am literally going through the most, but the lashes are on. They on. Oksana, yo, they are on. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a damage control. I am going to clean up. So guys, down the goes in an attempt to put on the lashes. Damage control time. I be scorn, kalo kunana. I could be scorn. A stranger must not see that you are fighting with your own lack of ability. <laughs> it must not be clear. Don't go clear. It must not be clear in the cover. Okay, I need a mirror. Like literally, literally, 
literally yo yo um oh what a big girl the... so with the lipstick i use the same um eye pencil i use the brown one i'm doing a month like this because when I want to wear a and it's like, why? <laughs> I know I'm a beginner and I know nothing about that. No, I think the point of a pencil is to um, equip a natural shape your lips. I think, you know. I don't think it's for any other reason than to. I amplify him that kabau. I enhance. I accentuate. <laughs> you know the natural shape. So this ke kabu ya zo. Oya ngamandlo. I think that's fine. I prefer putting on puff lipstick on moisturized lips. So that this thing has been scraped, has been scraped, you know what I mean? And then you put on a lipstick here. Yeah, cool. Um, I bought a lipstick here, so you can have it so long. Oh, yeah. I bought it a Happy Five Run shop for certain beauty influencers. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm not even doing that correct. I bought this for 15 Rand at the Happy Five Rand shop. It's a dark brown color. So I just apply that. I need my lips to pop, sorry. Like, I need my lips to announce themselves <laughs> my God, let's style the hair a little bit this is the singer for Pola drum <laughs> Silapa, no, no, silapa. This is beginners, but silapa. Can you imagine, guys, with a bit more practice? You see, PCT, aba, dim lona. It took me forever. If I come and just join spilling, I can't even catch my phone. Nah, dimos, dimu, dimu, no, no, dim, dim. And now we ingangu, we ingangu. I am so happy that I filmed this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. It's probably a bit long, but it should be long. For beginners, it should be long. And the mistakes that I made, the parts that dribbled me and everything. We are literally going through the same journey. song And there's going to come a time where... Papa song, yes. I hope you see a cake, the tune. I hope you see a cake, who's Zama? Who's Zama? I hope you see a cake, too, too. Anyway, I have come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. And if we click Della or Fanam, I hope that this video encouraged you to try, you know, like Zama. Zama, I love you guys so much. See you on my next video.